Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Tom Origins here and here is a quick and easy guide to how to turn on the power and the pack a punch on the brand new zombies map Firebase Z. I've sped up the footage and slowed it down when needs be but pretty much you just roll straight in, opening scenes, you see everything you need to see, go straight to the teleporter at the roof of the village and then you land in the compound, the big main area of the map and you've got three ether machines that you need to activate to to make the base have power so these three separate devices will cost 500 a pop and you'll also have to pay to get into them once you do activate them zombies will get triggered by their noise and try and attack them they will blink the little protective lights will blink and you'll have to go and defend and just like swat the zombies away from it really you just have to do this three times and you know it's complete when it'll explode with this big energy blast and uh, you'll have cleared the section and they will then be active Every time you turn them on, it will give you new power for the part of the map that you're in. And then when all three are turned on, you'll get maximum power throughout the entirety of the base. And that will also activate the Packer Punch. So as you can see here, I'm on the second one. I managed to do this quite early, quite fast, but I still run into a Mimic early on. So I have to be light on my feet and try and get around that problem. It was the first time seeing a Mimic. So go to the Twitch reaction of me playing it for the first time if you want to see that reaction live. But yeah, I was just sussing everything out for the first time. I'd never been on this map before. I'd never played any of it before. I'd never watched videos for it. I did all of this first hand on stream and I managed to really get everything done within like a, an hour and a little bit, like hour 13, hour 15, something like that. So this tutorial is just something quick and easy. It's kind of, kind of given to you a little bit with the markers and stuff, but I know for some zombie community members who are really new, it, it could be a bit challenging. And I don't think just because you've got varied skill level, you should have to experience any less fun on zombies or be struggling for ages on how to do anything. So these tutorials may be simple and may be quite short-handed, but eventually they do help everybody, no matter your skill level. So we're moving on to the third and final ether machine to activate. I defend this one quite well. I'm swatting the zombies away. The protective notifications let me know which one's getting attacked. And they can take a little bit of damage, but don't get... Don't get too overwhelmed if they do get destroyed. I think you can reset the process and just start defending it again. And if one gets destroyed, it doesn't affect the other two. Or if one was active and then it gets broken, you can just re-wipe and go again. It's not the end of the world. It's not like you won't have power for the rest of your playthrough if they get destroyed. So you'll be fine. Don't panic. I used Ether Shroud Tier 3. That really helped me. And I got a little bit of XP and a calling card when you do this for the first time, which is awesome. So all the three ether machines are now activated. I'm running back to the main teleporter like it's notified me to do on my screen. You hear a bit of context and law going on with uh, people voice talking to you and stuff, some voiceovers. I was collecting some intel here and fighting off some zombies. But once you've done the three ether machines, all the power will be restored to the facility and you'll be able to get the teleporter back to the original spawn village, which is what I'm doing now. And I managed to get that done by round seven. And then as you can see, I teleported back, I get off the top of this building, come down to the bottom village, and we are now running towards the Pack-A-Punch machine, and it gets booted up and gets brought back to life, powered up again, ready to come back and use whenever you need it. So if you're in the base and you need to Pack-A-Punch, just hop the teleporter back to the village and Pack-A-Punch at your leisure. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. What does perfect even mean?